We've been gone for some time. Where have we been? Where have we been? No, we haven't put out a video in a while and that's because we were traveling. So, what a better time to launch a new series, a travel series. We went on a trip and you'll see where in the videos. Uh, upcoming vlog videos that are coming on our Positive Travels YouTube series. So you get to see everything and hope you enjoy the videos. Yeah. With every one of our trips, we need to say goodbye to the kittos. And the first one that we bid goodbye to was Blue. Look at him, he's so sweet, he's so cute. Aww. But he wants his food more than me. Yep. Next one is our princess milkshake. She's also trying to put on a brave face and like... She's trying to pretend like she would miss us throughout the entire way but... I'm pretty sure she missed us and... I definitely missed her throughout the entire trip. Yeah. So I made the fatal error of looking at my camera. And lo and behold, look who was waiting for us at the door. Milkshake! No! So where did we go? I'll let Positive Papa tell you where we went. To where? Victory and Japan. and Japan Also, introducing our merry band of friends that went on this amazing trip with us Yeah, look at all of them, so cute! We all got to the airport with a bit of time to spare so we took a quick breakfast at Coffee Bean and Tea Leaf and of course I had to have my morning coffee because coffee is life So if you're departing from Changi Airport, you really don't have to mind going there any earlier because honestly, there's so many things to do at the airport and so many things to buy there. You can always look at the duty-free shops or as we did, just look around for a while and head to 7-Eleven because we took a budget airline and we needed food to eat throughout the trip. Shh, don't tell them we brought food up. But I ended up buying something on board anyway so yeah that should make up for it right <laughs> so if you enjoyed yourself a bit too much in Singapore and you forgot to buy your loved one some souvenirs Changi Airport has you covered and you can even buy some from 7-eleven look my lion shaped dark chocolates yeah and they are affordable too so if you forgot this is kind of the best place for you to get some stuff for your loved ones and we're off so this time around we chose to fly Scoot and Scoot is actually the budget airlines for Singapore Airlines so actually among all budget airlines it's actually pretty not bad the service was pretty good and obviously because it's it, it is a budget airline it doesn't come with any food so you can either opt in when you're buying your tickets or you can actually buy food online as you're about to see me do yes I didn't buy food per se I bought something else Yes, I spent 9 Singapore dollars on that small bottle of wine. What a clown. I know. I know I'm a clown. And touchdown! So the whole flight took around 6 hours from Singapore to Kansai International Airport in Osaka. And we basically didn't sleep because we were too excited. After a quick stop at the convenience store, we decided to head to our Airbnb and we took the train. Which we will come to regret because, oh my god, the staircases are no joke. We just reached our room and it's so tiring to get up the stairs. Hey, we're on the fourth floor. Later I'll show you how we get down. It's, it's, it's really something. 
I'm so tired. I just looked, I didn't do anything else. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> this is a bit scary. This is very scary. We literally could break the neck. Legit, we cannot okay. dream. You cannot, you yeah? cannot yeah. Oh, this like this. Like, you need to be so close. 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 So aside from the stairs, the Airbnb was actually really really good and they actually provided us with all this food. Yeah, and they had yogurt, eggs and also a lot of like cup noodles for us to have our meals there. It was really a good Airbnb and the hosts were really really accommodating and would really highly recommend them. If so only downside of this Airbnb are the very steep stairs and also the emergency response center right opposite because you will hear ambulances throughout the day and they just sound their sirens throughout the entire trip like wee -oo, wee -oo, wee -oo, non-stop so near the Airbnb there was a Shotengai or shopping street and basically they had a lot of food in the area so it wasn't hard for us to settle our meals there were a lot of izakayas nearby or casual drinking uh, spots where you can also have some food um, we stayed in an area that is not very tourist heavy so there were a lot of local shops and generally all the food in the area was like really good like we tried a few eateries and it was actually really really good and reasonably priced here we're just walking around and taking a look at all the shops nearby to see what we want to have for our first meal in Japan. Honestly, for some of us, uh, it's been quite some time since we've been to Japan uh, because of COVID, definitely. One thing that we did notice post-pandemic is that a lot of shops close a lot earlier and they open a lot later. Like, normally pre-pandemic we used to be able to like go out for breakfast and there will be many breakfast shops open but now we don't see that many and the shopping streets and all tend to close a lot earlier so after surveying all our options obviously we ended up at Matsuya what is Matsuya? Matsuya is a chain restaurant in Japan that sells beef bowls it's really very affordable and the food is so good as to die for so in singapore we have sukiya and yoshinoya which are also uh, beef bowl chains from japan but we don't have matsuya so we really really crave it every time we go to japan look at that beef bowl can you imagine it only cost me seven dollars and this is tonjiru they don't have it in singapore and it should be an option honestly non-halal Japanese restaurants in Singapore what are you doing? you should have this as an option really, it's so good and we finished off our first night snacking and drinking on the 5th floor yes, you heard me right 5th floor we walked and brought all these snacks up all the way to the 5th floor on the staircase of death yes, we did that and we only went there for a grand total of 1 night because none of us could be bothered to climb up ever again Hi. Only my big face is in focus. <laughs> is everybody okay with like the weird fishy smell? Sure, the window's open. What weird fishy smell? So that's all the time we have this week. Thank you all so much for watching. If you have watched to this point, and please subscribe to our channel in order to watch more of our vlogs and also vlogs of our cats. So. Thank you so much and see you next week! Third drink? One more drink? Mm.